Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP Sales CRM Solutions with BISP. I have got a very good hands-on on BI tools as well and uh, Salesforce has introduced a new tool known as Salesforce Wave. So therefore I decided to come up with a new CFO dashboard using Wave. We have already created CFO dashboard using various BI technologies and other tools like Python, R programming, and ClickView and Tableau. So we decided to build same by using Wave as well. As you know that Salesforce Wave can not only pulls the data from Salesforce, but it can also get the data from or load the data from CSV files or from Informatica. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use a financial data set which I have recently got from my client and I will be going to prepare a dashboard out of it. So it's a CSV file. So let me show you the data set. That's my financial data which I have received. It has got columns like scenarios, year, period, view periodic view region for different regions so there are three financial elements net profit uh, net sales and profit margin various accounts it's on different products so mainly which is on uh, it's on multiple products like golf balls and so on we have various customers cash flow amount and the transaction date so i have already formatted the i have already transformed the data i've already completed the data massaging the data which I received was not in a proper format so I have already formatted this data in a proper order and now we are going to load this data into Salesforce wave analytics and we are going to build a dashboard out of it so let me switch to my Salesforce wave analytics so first of all to work on Salesforce wave analytics you need to have a registered account so I have got a registered subscription and uh, you can see I have already got the sale I have already uploaded the financial data set here if I simply click on this it will quickly create a lens out of it and uh, we can quickly change the measure apply grouping and we can apply filter if we required and also we will have various options to to we have different chart modes which can be used to present the data or we can present it a value table or compare table and also we have an we can enable the SAQL mode for to perform data visualization so the dashboard which I have prepared uh, that dashboard contains all the widgets all the elements which we use to have the different type of charts and the filters so this is the dashboard I have I have prepared and as you can see here in this dashboard on the left side you can see it will be showing the total number of sales we have done total amount and the actual cost so we can see the total amount with, with respective to actual, actual cost so we have a date filter it's a range we can it, it would be relative to year or absolute date would be there so we can apply filter then we have financial elements so at present this chart would be presenting data for all the financial elements for which contain the net profit net sales and profit margin I can quickly apply filter so if you concentrate on this particular chart this chart would be showing the net profit sales, net profit net sales net profit and profit margin so I quickly filter for net profit and this would be displaying only net profit here and whenever we made a selection in any of the filters any of the list boxes it will reflect other charts as well other widgets as well so I can remove this filter in same manner we have region so we can go we can filter the records for a specific region or let's suppose I want to see the net profit sales and margin and the total sale we have done in Orlando region so that's the filter we have done so as soon as we apply filter the graphs will change then for products so there are two products we are we are working on golf balls and tennis balls so at present this would be showing the uh, total sale and all the uh, the total uh, cost the net profit net sales and profit margin for both the golf balls and the tennis ball we can filter it for a specific product then we have accounts so I'm very much interested in short term uh, short term deposits or let's say admin expenses or capital stock or cash so I click on cash and it would filter accordingly 
then we have scenarios like actual i want to see the actual cost or budgeted cost so this is the actual in same manner we would have we can filter it based on budget as well so that would be the budgeted cost actual and budgeted cost and as you can see when i filter for actual when i filter it for budgeted actual cost is not rendering because this would be displaying only the actual cost so this filter basically this uh, num numeric field will not be able to sh display any of the data because it is showing only budgeted one so these are the various graphs i have prepared uh, we have a graph we have a stacked bar chart which will be presenting the net profit net sales and profit margin in various months in different months in all around the year in all respective years then we have it's a waterfall chart which would be, which would be representing the total amount in uh, based on regions in the three respective years 13 14 and 15 then uh, this particular chart would be showing the target versus actual cost and we have admin expenses so if we look at this so if we look at this chart in this chart we will have the admin expenses for the respective months april august december january february for the sum of amount and that's the change percentage we have it is not filtered we can apply filter as well we can change its properties and we have options for filtering and uh, we can apply the filters or also we can make some changes into it there are table options this particular graph it with this particular chart of widget it would be displaying the net profit net sales and profit margin with respective to all the regions so it's a heat map chart and uh, this the the region the region which would be showing which would be coming in dark of the respective to the financial element it means th this has got the maximum number of amount this is what the highest number of amount we have so this is a dashboard we have pre we have prepared in wave analytics we can customize it and perform more we can add more elements to it we can have some toggle controls we can have some text if i want to display some text so I would be able to do that. I can drag and drop and it would be able to customize it and we can add a text here. Suppose I just wanted to add a text to this. So I'll just add a text and I call it as dashboard properties. Select this and I add a text as CFO dashboard. So this would be the and we can save it. And once the advantage of using Salesforce wave dashboard is that we can quickly preview it or we can quickly share it. So let me save it first. And once I saved it, I can quickly share it with my registered user or we can, uh, I can export it. I can download it in a PDF format or sorry, as an image format and, uh, and use it as an attachment in an email. We can get the URL and we can share this url with our users so the only the registered user they would be able to see this we have post to feed uh, post to feed in terms of if i post to feed i just wanted to see all the users or all the groups or a specific user so just for an example i just enter my name so i'm just giving my name here so my name and uh, i click on post so when i click on post this dashboard will be shared this dashboard will be add on my home page and all my followers they would be they will be able to see this dashboard so let me show you that i click on sales right now I, we are on wave analytics and now i'm switching back to salesforce interface and in salesforce interface i click on home and you can see there's a new feed has been a new post has been added named as financial dashboard and all my followers would be able to see this and they can download it or they can download it as a png or they can perform some operations they can preview it so that's how we can create a couple of dashboards so so this is my first dashboard related to financial components in uh, in wave analytics I would be going to create a couple of more dashboards and share and share with all of you. That's all. 
in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bspsolutions.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and more information related to wave analytics. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.